Well, hello there. Don Conroy here. Are you ready for a Halloween special? That's what we're about to do. The original origins of Halloween goes back to medieval times. There was a feast called the Feast of All Hallows. And that was when the church uh, celebrated all the great saints. But the night before was called Hallow Eve. That's where we get the name Halloween. And that night, the gates of darkness opened up. And all the strange monsters and creatures like vampires, ghosts, skeletons, walked the earth. So you weren't too happy with that if that happened. So what you did was you dressed up like them and they came up and they didn't bother you. There's no point in, in trying to frighten another ghost if you are a ghost sister or a vampire trying to chase another vampire. No, no. So that was the trick. And that's why to this day we still dress up for Halloween. And of course back then too, they used to light a big bonfire at the end of the night to chase them all away. <laughs> you like the picture? I did that. <laughs> now, uh, I'm getting ready to work up an idea and then you and I and the rest of us are all going to draw it, okay? So I'm going to start off, she's got a big, big hat. It's, it's kind of bigger than usual. And what we do is we're going to start off by drawing the rim. And this is the line here and we go down like this right across like here and and back around like this. So this part has been blown by the wind so it, it has that kind of curved part. And then we're gonna put a buckle just here. This is like an old style hat that they used to have. And we put a, a line like this and a line like this. And now the, the, the hat is a kind of a cone shape, but it's a little bit bent and battered because she keeps flying into branches and things. So it goes off like that, and as I say, we're making it a rather big, long hat, like that. So once you get that bit, because it's always good to make sure the hat's sitting on the head properly. Now we get down here, and there's this sort of a profile of the witch. So we have a nose that comes out like that, back up like that. And we've got, here's the nostril, fairly big nostril. And the sort of part of the nose and then the eyes. She's very focused. She's determined to go somewhere. So we put the two black pupils there and her eyelids are down like that so she's slightly cross looking but she's still looking a little bit mischievous with her mouth <laughs> so there's a little bit of a murky smile there like that and then her lower lip comes out like that and then her chin and her neck is a little bit kind of wrinkly and then the hair just put off in little little strokes like that Always remember what you're actually drawing, right? So you're drawing the arms. Now, that might seem a bit strange, but it's always good to think of what you're actually drawing uh, because it's not just putting lines, it actually helps you think of the actual part of the, the person you're drawing. So now we draw the thumb. And in the cartoon, as I said before, you, it's usually three fingers and a thumb. And here's the other thumb from the other hand. And you'll see one finger there. And this line goes back up like this. And then her back is up in the air like that. Because she's actually coming down like as if she's been flying around here like that. So we go like that. And this this is a broomstick so you just see the, the handle here like that and the same on the far side like that 
and here's the kind of sticks that it's made up of various sticks and then they go off like that just little simple strokes like that and again don't worry about making mistakes you're just having a bit of fun and I suppose you're all planning to dress up in all kinds of things ghosts, monsters <laughs> uh, I remember it was always great fun dressing up for Halloween and it was kind of a it was an atmosphere when you went out at Halloween it was kind of a little bit scary because you didn't know who you might meet and Sometimes people's uh, costumes are really scary, you go, <laughs> especially when you were seven, you know. Now, so we've got the witch drawn, and we go up here, and we draw the wolf, wolf howling. So we start off by in a curved line that goes down like that, and a little, this is the muzzle, so, and the mouth slightly open like that, and the eye is closed like that. And we go down onto the body, make a curve here. Then we continue back down along the neck to the body and then the, the legs. He's at the edge of a cliff or something like that. And then we keep drawing like that. And again, you can take your time. I'm just uh, doing this very quickly, give you an idea. And of course, a nice big moon as well, adds a bit of atmosphere. Okay. And there's the edge of the cliff. Again, a few little squiggly lines, brings it right down like that. Now we move straight down to the pumpkin. And uh, every time I see a pumpkin, I always think of that great story by a man called Washington Irving. He was a marvelous uh, American writer. And he wrote a lot of great stories, but one was called uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and I'm sure you've heard about that. It's about a teacher. He goes into the woods at night time. He shouldn't go into the woods because in the woods there's a headless horseman who has a pumpkin for a head, but he wants a new head. He starts chasing. Read the story. <laughs> anyway, here we go, back to the pumpkin. And I'm drawing the nose as a triangle facing up, the eyes as a triangle, but these are head facing down like that, on the other side. And we put a line in here and a line in here. This is to show that it's been cut into. And up at the top here is where it's connected to where it's been growing. So a few little squiggly lines like that. And then again, think of the shape. Uh, so it, it's not quite circular. So you, you can make it any shape you like, but it's roughly this shape. And that's the great thing about drawing. You know, you can do it any way you like, but this is just to give you a little idea. So the mouth, is open and we show a few teeth there and then one at the bottom like that and there's the lines I'm just going to darken up in here just to make it a little bit more spooky looking so you might like to make some of the uh, a Halloween card for a bit of fun or maybe put up some Halloween decorations not too scary <laughs> I'm actually using some crayons but these are actually watercolor crayons let's just show you how they work so I'll put this on very quickly This is a good bit. This is the, uh, the little part I like. And then you run it over like that. And you see the way it gets nice and uh, it comes like a bit like a watercolor paints. These are crayons. 
I'm going to do the witch now and I put a little bit of orange in her hair like that and a little bit of colour on her face like that very very quickly and I'm going to put a tiny bit of green here like this you know the way they say witches have sort of greenish faces well they certainly do in a lot of the cartoons so I'll just So it's not too yellow, just that's that. That's a little mixture of the yellow and the green together. And now some black. See that nice shine there. <laughs> so here's, I'm doing this very, very quickly, but you get, you get the idea. You can take your time. And so here's the black and I'm doing the hat black as well. And uh, yeah. we can even do the shoes, the boots. And now I'm going to use a little bit of the water. And then we get the nice effect with the crayons. It's nice effect, it just comes on very quickly. I'm using a big flat brush. I call them chisel brushes. Sometimes some people do anyway. <laughs> and then I'll put a wolf, kind of dark grey as well, almost silhouette like that. And I can just hint at the cliff uh, face, grey like that. Now I'll put a little bit of green down here. So there's lots of things you can draw for Halloween, but uh, the witches are always kind of a popular one. So this is why I wanted to start with, with the witches. But anyway, over, over the course of uh, the series, I'll do a few, uh, maybe monsters like vampires and stuff as well. So, so you get all these ghoulish things. Yeah. And uh, just going to maybe just put the sky a little bit of blue like that. And it's nice to be able to do it nice and quick like this, so you get, so you get the idea. And again, if you're using water and it starts getting a bit too muddy looking, change the water because uh, you, you want to keep the water reasonably clean. A lot of artists use uh, two kind of containers for water. One to kind of clean the brush and I want to use for the, the paints or in this case crayons and music. Anyway, thanks for your lovely comments. I'm glad that you enjoy the program so much. I'm certainly enjoying doing them with you and it's lovely to draw together, and it doesn't matter what age you are. <laughs> the main thing is to have fun. And uh, the great thing about drawing too is, well, you can do it uh, with a group, with a family, or on your own, whatever. Okay, that's, that's the... Uh, that's more or less the whole thing. I'll just put a little bit of brown here and a little bit of brown here. She looks like she's polished up her broom stick, so it looks very smart when she's all flying in the night time. And I'm just putting a little, little curved line like that. 
You barely see it, but just just suggests a bit of movement there. Okay, well that's our little witch. And I'll just go back and show you the original one again. And there you have it. So I hope you enjoy that. I certainly did. Have a great Halloween and do stay safe. Don't do anything silly. <laughs> enjoy yourself. Don't frighten too many people. Until the next time, this is Don Conroy. Do take care. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish. Now next time on Draw With Don, I will be drawing a wolf. Do you know what I'm doing? I'm looking at Don's gallery.
So thank you all very much. I'm really enjoying them. Well, thank you for all your wonderful pictures that you sent for Halloween special. Now, we could only pick one, as they say. Uh, so we plucked one out of the hat. They were all great. And uh, thank you so much. And we'll do that again sometime, perhaps around Christmas time. So thank you for your company. Thank you for sending the lovely pictures. Stay creative.